So here's the canister filter after about a week. Uh, it's running good. There's a small leak. Uh, I've been catching it just to see how much it is. This is how much in about 24 hours of time. And here's the pump. Everything's running well. It's just except for that small leak. I had to replace the gasket on the lid area right here. I used two gaskets, uh, they're called 275s, Wooter rings or something like that. I had the first replacement gasket was too big. But um, yeah, I'll go in more detail on that in a second. So I wanted to show the gasket. This is the original gasket that came with the, the gamma lid. And then this gasket is the one I originally bought, ended up being too thick. Nothing I could do could make it work. It worked better than the original seal, but it still leaked. There's a difference. So I ended up buying this one. It's called, uh, this is the packaging for it. It's a 275 O-ring. And I, uh, it's a, just a little bit thicker. It's hard to tell. My camera's not, it's just a little thicker. I used two of them and I used this one inch thick Teflon tape. And a little bit of this uh, silicone grease to put on the o-ring. And this is uh, the system. I'm going to attempt to fix the leak underneath the rim. Uh, it's dripping really slow, but I still don't want it to leak. Um, this is the system. Disconnected. This valve's off. The water's still primed in that line. So when I start back up, it just takes a minute, but it starts to flow pretty quickly. Now I'm going to pull it out of here and uh, show you what it looks like. So this is the filter out. This is what it looks like after about a week. It's not very dirty. Iris, back up please. Hi. And then here's the lid with the Teflon tape that I wrapped around it. I used two of the little bit bigger uh, gaskets. And uh, when I put the lid on, I put it really tight and there's no more leak around the rim. But now i got to pop this piece off, which... Uh, uh, I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna pry it around the rim and see if that comes off and try not to damage it and make it make a better seal. So that's the next step. So here's the lid off. This is the O-ring inside here that's not making the perfect seal even while the pump is running. So my plan is to wrap the rim Teflon. Um, check for any breaks, I guess. And this and then try to seal it again hopefully it works all right so that's what the Teflon tape on I wrapped it about three times hopefully that's not too much I feel like it's a better seal the stuff's not that cheap it's like eight bucks and then I put a little uh, o-ring grease around the rim and now I'm gonna put it back on and by the way this is really hard to get off I tried to use those wooden spoons, it didn't work. I ended up using a metal spoon based on another tutorial I saw online, and it worked, but it was still really hard to get off. So I suggest before you put it on, maybe do something like this. Alright, I was going to show how easy this is. Once you get the unions back on, the valves are still both shut. So the unions are back on, just turn the valves back on. And it should, you can see it filling the tube a little bit. Turn this one back on. Now this is the first test. Is it gonna leak with tank pressure? Okay, now it has full tank pressure. And I don't see any signs of leak. That's a drop from earlier, it got kinda wet. Yeah, this is the this is the major test for this system because the tank pressure comes down from there, it fills the bucket up, and creates pressure internally, and pushes out on all the seals on the, the lid. So if you're gonna have a leak, this is when you're gonna have a leak. And now that checks out. That valve's open. That valve's open. I got the filter plug right here. Plug that in. Power on. And it should start. Going. That's already coming out the top. 
it looks like success. Um, I'll keep an eye on it. And uh, I'll let you guys know if I stop the, all the leaks. It looks like at this point the lid's sealed after everything I did. And the, well, the thread lid's sealed, sealed. The bucket lid seems to be sealed at this point. I just went to put the tap on. Um, yeah. Uh, I'll check it out uh, tomorrow morning and see if I see any signs of leakage. Alright, there you go.